In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter an invoice to post it and print it. So to begin, we click on the navigator, admins, finance, accounts receivable, invoice processing, enter and revise invoices. From here, we click the green add button and we fill out the details at the top to begin. So if you already know your customer number, you can enter it there. Or to search, we click the small magnifying glass, change the search type to a C, and click the magnifying glass here. To scroll through the customers, we can click this arrow here. If you know the name of your customer, you can type it into the name search bar here. So I'll select my customer and click the green tick. Now we enter the company number, the invoice date, the GL date, and the currency we're going to use. So once you've filled out all those details, we now go on to fill in the invoice details. So gross amount, and then here, remark, you can type say the item name or any, any type of free text. Click the line below, and the rest of the details will pre-populate at the top. To add another line, just enter it as before. So to complete, we click the green tick. Now on this page is where we need to enter our GL code or account number. So if you already know it, you can enter it into this box here. Click on the line below. Or if you needed to search, you can click the small magnifying glass and search on here. So to begin, we search for the business unit. So we click the small magnifying glass. You can either type in the business unit code, for example, OP, or we can again search. Select, click the green tick. And then to search for all the operations, Click this magnifying glass here and go through the options. So once you've found it, you can click that button here, green tick to select. So it filled in the business unit. Now to find the rest of the GL code, you click the magnifying glass here to search and select the GL code must make sure that this number here is a seven, otherwise it won't work. <laughs> so you click the green tick and here is your GL code. So I click the line below for it to update to Adnum's beer. And then to complete, we click the green tick. So now to post the batch, the invoice, we need to remember our batch number here, which is 222867. X out of all the screens, otherwise it still thinks that the batch is in use. We go back to the navigator, the Adnums, finance, accounts receivable, invoice processing, review and post invoice batches. So if we know the batch number, we can enter into this box here. Or if you want to search all of the invoices posted or created by you, sorry, type in your user ID here. The magnifying glass to search. So there's two on here that I need to post. So we select the one that we've just created here, which is 222867. Right click, click post by batch, and greet the green tick to confirm. So we click the magnifying glass to update the page. And it's disappeared as it's no longer an unposted batch. So exit out of that screen. To print the invoice that you've just posted, we click on recent reports, view job status. And here we click the print button here. Make sure that printer name is the printer you've set up as the default printer. And click the green tick. If it's not the correct printer, click on form 
change printers. You can change it to your correct printer. Green tick to confirm. So to print, you click the green tick. Exit out. To open the receipt as a PDF and view it and review it that way, click on this button here, view output. So we'll now go to the PDF. Go into your downloads to open it, click on it. And once downloaded, it will open up for you, as you can see. So one we did here.